I'm just sitting here on the bumper of this 1970 Scotty, 13 foot. It's a really cool camper. I'm going to take you through it pretty soon. But uh, in the uh, interest of what does it cost, everybody seems to like those videos. So I'm going to do a what does it cost, but not money. I'm going to do what does it cost in time, in labor, my labor. So uh, I, I, like to keep, uh, I like to keep notes. Every time when I uh, go in from the shop, I have this uh, just sitting on the counter in the kitchen. I write down the hours, the day, the hours, and then what I spent my time on. Um, and it adds up. It adds up. I think sometimes it adds up quicker than the money. But hey, if you're getting any value out of any of these videos, I think you're going to find this one interesting. Would you hit the like button? Go over here to the subscribe button. Tell a friend. It helps our channel grow, and uh, I appreciate it, so that's pretty cool. Thanks. So, uh, anyway, this 13-foot uh, Scotty, I uh, made these notes. I made, I made some notes to talk to, so if I'm not looking at you, please uh, bear with me because I, I don't have the memory I used to have. Um, so, tear down to the frame. These always kind of go pretty quick uh, on the tear down because I've done so many of them that I really have a good idea of how to do it, how to do it quickly, how to do it not so much quickly as expeditiously, you know, without making mistakes. Uh, trust me, I make a million mistakes, but I make less and less each time. So tear down to the frame. It comes in, as you saw at the beginning of, of these videos, uh, it comes in and nine and a half hours later, it's down to the frame. Nine and a half hours down to the frame. So, uh, then I come back in, uh, usually the next day, I only take one, one and a half days to do that. And then the next day I'll come in and uh, what I'll do is I'll build the floor. You've seen me build the floor. I like to build the floor, build the walls, put the ceiling up, uh, undercoat the floor, don't forget that, and then prime the interior. On this one you saw I kind of did that before I put it in, but usually prime the interior. Now that... Uh, build the walls, the ceiling, the floor, undercoat, prime the uh, interior walls and ceiling. 18 hours. 18 hours. Not bad. I think I could make it go a lot quicker if I used that sprayer on the inside, but I haven't got the guts up to do that yet because it's such an enclosed space. Uh, interior. So we're looking at things like paint. We're building cabinet doors. We're building the cabinets building the dinette seating, uh, oftentimes, more often than not, building the dinette table and wiring the interior. I'm gonna, there's gonna be some things that you're like, well, you didn't talk about this. Well, I, I, listen, I, 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 I'm doing my best here. So that kind of main thing, that took me 35.75 hours, 35 and three quarter hours to uh, get that interior going and that's really honestly my favorite part so I don't I don't care how long that really takes because I just enjoy it um, now the outside this is going to consist of the uh, skin now there's where we're going to sand it and you got to sand every centimeter every inch it's got to be it's got to be sanded then you got to wash it down and then you got to wash it down again and then you got to soap it down and then you got to dry it twice so, you know, there's a lot of time just in that. So uh, that's the skin, uh, the, you know, sanding for uh, prep for paint, uh, the J rail, uh, paint the skin, add the insulation, obviously not in that order, and, uh, you know, clean up the windows. You know, there's a lot of work on those windows sometimes. Now these, these were in excellent shape. I probably have less time in these windows than almost every camper I've ever done. They're in great shape. Uh, and the door. I didn't have to rebuild the door, but I did have to prop it up a little bit because it's a really good door as well. Uh, I got 37 hours in that, 37 hours in that process. Um, miscellaneous, about 10 hours. There's just always something that just pops up and you're like, oh, doggone. So you, you know, you're gonna take a little time for this, a little time for that. Now this doesn't include my time going to the big box store, the lumber yard and, and ordering things online and, and picking them up and all that kind of thing. That's not in there. That's not in there because that's going to be several hours 
you know, I, you know, if I, if I make a trip to go pick up the, the lumber for this thing, that's a three hour process, you know, load it, unload it, unload it and load it again. Oh, uh, but yeah. So my total on this, I did actually uh, do the total on this one. I'm going to save Russ a little bit of time, but uh, I got uh, just about a month. It took me just about a month to get this one tore down and put back together and uh, 110.5 hours. 110.5 hours. Now, you're probably going to say to yourself, that's just not possible. Well, on your first one, no, my first one, I promise you was 200 and something hours for the exact same model. But as I've gone, I've made little notes in my head. There's, there's tips, there's tricks, there's little secrets. Now, sometimes people will uh, send me a direct message off of Instagram or Facebook or even YouTube, and they'll be like, hey, what's the secret to... And I always tell them it's not really a big secret. You just got to ask. I don't mind telling you. A lot of people call and ask me things. and uh, So I don't mind. I don't mind. But uh, this one was 110.5 hours. And it's built sturdy to last. Uh, it's a great trailer. I can't wait to show you the whole thing. So uh, thanks for checking this out. That's what does it cost? Labor.